Oh, Tyler's here too. Hey, Tyler. Tyler. Oh, Tyler, you're not here. Oh. No, I just not on mute my audio, right? He is here. Yeah, you're you're on mute. Did I unmute my audio or no? No. No. Okay. But you're hearing me, right? Mike is busted. Oh, that sucks. How's your camera? Okay. Um so then you can you could share screen too if you wanted to, but okay, so we're gonna have um what's his name? Paul here drag. He's coming on. Um we're very good drag. So James, yes. and we're recording, right? Yes. yes. So when you 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 love trans now when you hear transclusion, what do you think? Uh, you're taking a computer link, not necessarily telling the user to link up to it, but you're telling the computer software, hey, call to this function over here and display it without the user ever know what's going on. So call to this function, function which would be that here. tiddler. So you hear transclusion in the context of tiddly wiki, but take yeah. it out of tiddly wiki, just put it in like non tiddly language. What is transclusion? How does, what does it mean? You're taking one information from another area and transcluding, putting it into another area without anybody know what's really going on, just pops up without the user doing anything. That's the best way I can explain it. Here, when you hear transclusion, oh, you can share your screen, Paul. Here, when you hear transclusion, what do you hear? What do you think? A reference? What James said only helps. Sure. You're referencing something else. So, Paul, when you're writing a transclusion, what do you do as a writer? What do you do? You try to direct your audience towards something you want them to read. <coughs> Different words. I don't understand that. So, well, aren't you? When you click the link, right, you're directing them to another part of your. Who's yeah. the you? When you, as a writer, when, what do you do when you write a transclusion? So physically, or I don't, I don't um, get what you're trying physically to Physically, would be okay. I mean, because <laughs> writing is interesting to figure out because it's a physical act as well as a intellectual act, right? I mean, think about what writing is. What writing really is. It's Abstract symbols and conveying your thoughts through abstract symbols, right? Because letters don't have any meaning other than that which we describe to them and they're bundled together in words and sentences, right? So somehow when you write, you have this thought in your head and you convey it through symbols. So when you transclude, what is it that you're doing? You have a thought in your head and you convey it through symbols? It's something else. It's a different kind of writing. What, what is it when you write the transclusion? What's like the intellectual act? What's happening in your mind when you're going to write a transclusion? I say I thought this already somewhere else. I might as well just grab that and put it here. So you've got the thought of your something else, and then the thought of putting it here, and you're, you you imagine what the reader is going to do. I, I don't know. I mean, this is I've been struggling with this. Okay, so if um, so what do you actually type to create a transclusion in Tiddly Wiki? Tyler typed the message. Tyler's typed the message. Oh, thank you. You yeah. should open the chat. <laughs> um, your faces. Yeah. Um, so you include it by hypertext reference, taking some part of a doc, but like. Okay, so that's the act. That's like actually what you do is that you take some part of it and you sort of include it. You make it appear, you make it show up. Um, I don't know. I think when you're writing it though, I think in your mind you've got something, you've got a picture in your mind of what's going to happen, what it's going to look like. I think. Just like when you link, you imagine a reader clicking on a link. But when you build a link, somehow the idea comes into your mind that somebody's going to click. And, and so, with the transclusion, you imagine that people are going to do that. Why would you transclude anything? What do you 
what are the um, positives associated with with transclusion? Gives the reader more information without them physically moving from that area. You could just put the information yeah. there. Why would you transclude it as opposed mm -hmm. to just put it? Because you might have it in different locations that you might want to call upon it in different scenarios. So instead of keeping you writing it over and over again, you do it in one section, you transclude it into multiple sections if need be. Are you an example of where you might want to do something like that? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, it depends on the context of what you're reading. Mm -hmm. like, sometimes it might, you know. So in your project, which your, your project, what's the one that you're doing for your semester project? I'm taking every performal we've ever had and putting it in an archive. So you're creating a hypertext that describes all of the live performances at SUNY IT slash SUNY Poly since 2014. Okay. Why would you want to use transclusion? Can you think of any ways that that transclusion would be helpful to you? Maybe not in this. I don't know because everything is so different that I wouldn't want them to be transcluded to be the same. If that makes any sense? No, I don't. Everything is so different. <laughs> so explain to me what everything is so different. Well, each artist is individual different. Okay, but they can all link together by genre or by agency or by year, mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. location. Okay, but what is that, why, under what circumstances do you think it would be useful to transclude some of the information for your readers? So you have to sort of have an understanding of like what you would imagine your readers are going to be looking at. Your project, The 9-11 project, okay. Um, and so in that, you're taking a, a type of text, probably, yeah, and some stuff. Okay, so you're bringing stuff together. So when would you ever want to create a transclusion? So it's not just repeating information. Yeah, but like what would be repeated? I mean, you can that includes some information, and I want it to show. Could be a photo, could be a video, could be text. Okay, so you've got a photo of 9 11, the Twin Towers. And you might want that photo to appear multiple places. And so you would transclude or reference that photo. Instead of put the photo in every Hitler, you can create a reference to it. Okay. Would, would you might want to ever do that? If you want, if Paul, if you wanted to have a directory of the ten shows that we had in 2014, mm -hmm. like one place in your product, in your hypertext that says, "Here's the ten shows," and maybe you want to have a picture of each of those ten artists, right? You're not going to want to create it for that titler and then have it somewhere else. You, oh, okay, that's, that's transclusion. Now you should be saying because you're a web. Wait, isn't transclusion when you just go like? Image SRC equals quote isn't that a transclusion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that so you you do this transclusion stuff all the time, but you usually do it with photos, not with text. Because if you think about it, the image tag in HTML is just transcludes the image to where it is. Um, so um, how do we? How else might you want to? What other options would you might want to? do for transclusion. So Paul, why don't you go to um, go to the tiddlyweeky.com site. And um, search for getting started. We're looking for the newest release, the pre-release version. Um, 
remember where that was. Oh, I've been trying to find it, and I can't because I wanted to try the new toolbar that he has. Oh, um, did you want to, you have you been able to find it either? I couldn't okay. find it because I wanted to try it from the toolbar. So I know where it is. Paul, search, search for, for um, search for Tiddly Wiki Google Group. On here? No, no, oh. on yours? Yeah. No, in, in on the web. Oh. Tiddly Wiki Google Group. And go to that group. Oh, actually, you could search right there. How about that? And in that group, search for. Um, um, Search for Jeremy and um, edit, edit, I think. Edit toolbar, I think it's called. Just a Jeremy edit. Um, right. <laughs> New release. I guess I should have had a link that's ready for us to go. Um, we're looking for his newest release. So somewhere in this, there's a link to it. So it keeps. Um, uh, new release three eighteen fifteen announcing the release of oh, no, that's not sure. uh, maybe you typed in toolbar maybe pop pre, yeah try toolbar it's pre release it's not released it's pre release yeah try pre yeah maybe um. Edit toolbar. Edit toolbar? What was it? Yeah, it calls it a toolbar. Introduce a new there text editor there. toolbar. There it is. Text editor. And so um, um, probably at the top is a link. There it is. A new you can see. new project right there. My rich text editor. Yep. I've come to really like the way that Tiddly Spot works. Um, so you can um, do a file, say, page as. And just save it to that machine. That's, yeah. um, so we can edit this. Um, so do, do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. You can, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't have to leave Fox, so. I'm going to show you how to save it to Tiddly Spot. Okay, so do a new tip up here. Hmm. Yeah, go to the first one, to the other one, instead of trying to save it, just do your previous tab. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And do a new tip up. Okay, so. Um, and click on the incision tool, which is somewhere in that toolbar. X. What's the first one? X I. The after the H three. So well, there's that X size and text into new to Okay, so click on that. Um, and so let's look at this and think about what we're actually talking about doing here. Okay. Um, Probably help if you had a text, right? Um, here in the text, go to Wikipedia and grab a piece of text for us to play with. Um, what do you care about, Paul? Um, let's do 9 11. I'll do some, something cool. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> That's fine. Sounds good. Grab, that, grab the first three paragraphs. Yeah. Oh, I hate the stupid. Can we like move that? Oh, you can. Good. I told you I'm a good try. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. We didn't get any of the links. Um. So, um. So, so basically, you're gonna take that tool, create a new tiddler, then. Should we include all that information with the new tiddler? Yeah, so let's think about like why and how and under what circumstances we'd actually want to do this and use this technique that Jeremy's developed to 
sort of come to an understanding of what transclusion means as a writer. Okay, so what the act of that, the first question I asked, I want you to think about. Um, so, <laughs> let's say that in that middle paragraph, we wanted to end up with just the first sentence being visible. And, um, And then the other two, um, then we're gonna then we're gonna take the part about the planes that hit the tower and put that in one place. The plane that hit the Pentagon and put that in another place. And the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania and put that in a third place. So that we can put those all in different places, so that we can then reuse that if we wanted to, or build more stories about that. Okay. Um, so we'll, we're gonna. So notice what we're um, sort of outlining in my head is like a little a plan in a sense of where we're going to go. And this is a different way of transclusion that I think is partially made possible by this decision tool, which I think is really interesting. Okay. So let's say that that second sentence, two of the planes, I'll highlight that second sentence all the way till you get to the third plane. But not the third plane part. There. Okay. So we're gonna. So we want to grab that piece of text and make it its own fiddler. Okay. So this becomes the act of, in a sense, creating transclusions. So you click on that incision tool, and what are the choices? Okay. So we can. We have to title the new titler. So write the title, and now you're writing the transclusion. So what was the first plane? This was the. These are the planes that hit the tower. I think right. Just call planes. Well, we're gonna have a bunch of planes. Plane, I think it's planes that hit the tower. That's one. Yeah. Um, why would you want to tag this tiddler with the title of this tiddler? So what does that even mean? Tag new tiddler with the title of this tiddler. So we we'll tag it 911. Yeah. Is that a good title? It's fine. Okay, so do you want to tag this tiddler with the, why would you want to do that? It's part of the same grouping. And so it's all together. So it's all together, so you can what? They tag title. Right, tag title and not show up. So you, you can, can yeah, so you can have it show up. So you're so writing the transclusion, but at the same time you're engaging in the act of tagging. Okay, so you're creating, um, the possibility of an easy link between 9-11 and the planes that hit the tower killers. Um, you're, and you know that by having a tag, you'll be able to pull them together and list them and send people to them through links. What are you going to replace the excise text with? What are your choices? What would a link look like? What do you think the link would look like if you replace the excise text with a link? What's that going to look like? Oh, do it. Go ahead. Perform it. Ah. Okay. Um, can you show the preview? Preview button. There it is. Um, so, is that a transclusion? We built a link, oh. but we didn't transclude the text. That's lame. New tidlet. What is? What, why is that? Shouldn't it be nine eleven? Yeah. Why? Why isn't it? I don't know. Like it's just because uh, we didn't save the tidlet called nine eleven. Oh yeah. Did those five things? Save it. Think it's new. Save it. And now. Yeah, but now it's just now it's just screwed. So I'll just get rid of the plane that hit the tower. Okay, we're going to complain to Jeremy about that. And now edit this text and undo. Oh, look at that. We've lost that text. It's gone. Oh, no, it's right there. Oh, there it is. So you better put the text back. Uh, 
Okay. Um, yeah. And save it. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's delete that tiddler. Oh, so, so, and that was sort of, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm sure. Because what happens, so if you want to do the tagging and you think about it, this is a tiddly wiki, not a hypertext thing. But it allows you to understand a little bit of hypertext. So, it's cool. Well, what is that? You could change the way the preview looks. Oh, cool. I like it. So, Paul, James, you might get this. Kira, I don't know if you, we've talked about this before, but we were just playing with what's called state. Remember that came up in the workshop on Monday mm -hmm. night? This is sort of a, from a hypertextual perspective, it gets you into understanding version. Okay. Um, when you have a printed text, it's like a book or paper printed on paper. It's fixed. It's you can rip it up, but when you rip it up and change it, or you don't actually change what's in that text. You can change its physical form. So you understand the notion of a fixed text. Um, most of the time, when you interact with a website, you write all the pages. You stop. And then it's static. Okay, so that's called static HTML, unless any of your readers can add to your own material. So if you think of a Google Doc, like is it is a Google Doc that's shared with somebody else static? You know, you're both writing in it at the same time. You know how you write in it, and it's sort of there. And if you think about them as, as physical objects, as well as digital objects residing on a file somewhere with a set of bits. Um, it's kind of constantly changing, and especially in Google Docs, you're constantly negotiating those changes with the server. It's the same thing in Tiddly Week. So when you created a new Tiddler, it's actually called Draft of 9-11. But it's saved as new Tiddler. <coughs> it's saved in a way that you can't see, but it's there. So if you tag, in this particular case, it thinks, oh, I'm new Tiddler, so I'm going to tag the things that I'm being asked to tag as new Tiddler. Um, that's a, that's a pretty subtle understanding of permanence um, and the, the how text is sort of not really permanent in a wiki in the same way. So anyway, so grab that sentence again. Um, and do the same incision act. And, it's, and um, yeah. These Windows keyboards. Yep, and tag it. And replace it with what are the other options? Transclusion, macro call. We're going to skip the macro call for now. Well, we might get to I think you can just run it through a peer, which would be kind of cool. So that's what we're going to try to do that in a second. Perform the incision. And so now let's see what we've got. Okay. On the right, in the preview mode, looking at output, it looks precisely the same. So you could argue that your reader experience hasn't changed. Your writing experience is dramatically different. That's kind of odd. Okay. Um, so do the next sentence. Do the third clip. Same thing? Mm -hmm. Where are we? Third plane. So planes that hit the tower, what's this plane that crashed into the Pentagon? Mm -hmm. And do the fourth. Um, so that's a kind of a, I think this new incision tool, which we talked about in the past, but we haven't had to do media before, makes this transclusion much, um, not easier, but it ties all the steps together. Okay. 
Um, how would you do this without the um, toolbar, without this incision tool? They have to go right to individual tip layers. Well, not really. I mean, it's not too hard. Um, so save this tiddler. Uh, I spoke too fast. That's fine. No, 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 you can save it. Go to Wikipedia and grab the text again. And do another new tiddler. Paste it. We'll call it 911A. Steve. We shut the door because I'm picking them up. Um, grab the first sentence that you messed with the two planes. Keep going to a third plane. Okay. Oh, you don't have a clipboard buffer here. If you have a clipboard buffer, this gets much easier, but you don't. So, um, so now you have to do what Jeremy has written code to do. So you have to do it manually. So what are the steps that you need to do? Um, you want to. Okay. Delete that, to copy that text, create a new Hitler, paste the text, title the Hitler, um, place it to the tower, maybe? Huh. We did that. Right? Yeah. Isn't that going to overwrite that last one? It's the same title? A. <laughs> And grab the text of the tiddler that you're about to say, not the text, sorry, the title of the tiddler you're about to say. This one? Copy, mm -hmm. uh, wait, 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 wait. This one. Copy it. Okay. Save the tiddler. And go back to your 911A text. Oh, yeah, I like the text again. You no, it's still there. You can just delete it. And then do. And now, um, yeah, paste. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the same. Okay. Um, the incision tool to me brings that transclusion, that particular transclusion action, much closer to the user. And it seems more, well, it's many fewer steps. Um, so that's how to do it. But under what circumstances would you find it useful to do it? So for like this one, if all of a sudden new information came out about one of the planes, so I'm trying to hunt down a text, that little piece of text in a huge document, just go to that titular, make the change, and it populates it. Okay. Um, if you wanted to have descriptions of all the bands who showed up, um, if you wanted to have the opportunity to generate more information in that spot. Okay. Um, so, in this case, I mean, you, this is a technique that might be useful and might be helpful um, <clears throat> for weakifying an existing text. Um, the other piece of transclude that I want to go over, and we're just going to continue to work in this rich text editor Tidley spot for now. Okay, so go to Design Right and search for um, a peer. And it's the capital A appear that we want. Yep. And what we want to do is um, bring in the appear. No, the um, visit, do the first thing, the second will visit the source and follow install instructions. And it's the last tab. Like this. You know, I always go there too. His code is not. It's actually the one above us that's drag your week. Yeah, and drag that not to my week, but to your is that the yeah, that one. Yep. And then yep. Okay, so now we're gonna have problems. Because we can't say can't say. Um can you do it on this one? No, you you can go to that. Um what are you in Firefox? Uh, I say just take the two seconds down. Yeah, save changes. Two really files. And save file. No, it's going to open within their explorer. No. Um, it shouldn't be called to the wiki.html. Why not? Um, oh, I guess it is. 
any of the new chitlers there? Yep. So they are. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll show you how to upload that to, to this factor when we're done. Um, did that plugin work? Uh, you probably have to do that again. Oh, uh, maybe it did. We'll see. Go to design right under appear. Um, there is the, you want a bunch of those other tiddlers. You want the appear modified, the first one, core macros appear modified, the first one right there, yeah, you want that. Oh, you can't, it, it's weird, you can't drag it from a tiddler, you have to drag it from a link. Yeah. That's just life. <laughs> Go back, you don't have to import it, you can do a whole bunch of one. Oh, okay. That's fine. And we want to get the um, red flower up here. And I should put these all in a separate unit you know, so that it's easier. And we want up here. You don't need to appear template red flower up here. And that should be it. Oh, you shouldn't need red flower. Where's red flower? Do that you need red flower up here. We actually need the red flower tip, which is not listed there. Click on red flower up here. And drag, yeah, you need red flower right there. Yeah, that's a link. Let's see if it works. So now go to, yeah, um, click on red flower appear. Does it appear? It does. It does. Okay, so um, that you were at that workshop on Monday. Okay, so this is a really interesting use of transclusion. Okay, so um, what it does is in the text creates that little symbol. I'm not super thrilled with those little that little teeny symbol. That yes. <laughs> I'd like that a little bigger and I if somebody finds out where it is, they just will replace it. Something bigger. Okay. Um, edit the click on appear and notice it's tagged with appear. And this is a way of using click on appear modified. And let's look at the code for that. Um, and so it's called appear Steve. And you can change that to you know, your own name. And what it does, it, and is it looks, it does a couple of different things. The first thing it says, okay, appear Steve with a tiddler, so you pass it a tiddler name. So whatever you're going to do this operation on whatever the tiddler is. The first thing you're going to do is put it in the link, and you can close everything below this one until we get back to red. No, keep that one open and close the planes that hit tower A, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that. I guess I'm not. Um, Oh, so there it is, red flower appear. Okay. And close that. And so what it does is um, close the appear. Click on this right there. That can see how when I point yeah. does it. Um, click on the little appear icon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what it does is it first displays the tiddler as a link. That's where red flower is. And then it's going to, when you ask the stuff to appear, it's going to display the text of the tiddler that we're asking about, plus the thumbnail, plus the caption. Okay, so if you look at Red Flower and edit it, the text ends with my front yard because that block is called, is the field called text. The caption is there. You can edit the caption, but this is the caption in there. The end of the yeah, end of the whole thing. Oh, just. And then the Flickr URL is the Flickr URL, and the thumbnail is the embed of the thumbnail. And you've been playing with this, these ideas, I think, in your in your plans then. Yeah, I mean, here's not working for me. Um, did you do just that? Yeah, I tried to. From the source? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's share your screen in one second. Okay. Um, so you can add a field name here. So add a new name. Um, and I'll call it Paul. And give it a value. Like howdy. There you go. And add that. Okay. Um, and so save the save this tiddler, red flower, and close and you can close red flower. And now let's edit, modify the macro. Instead of calling for caption, why don't we call for Paul? And 
highlight that. And instead of calling it a peer Steve, call it a peer Paul. Okay. And so save the macro. And um, looks like I get to save the tip of for some, the whole week. For some reason, your red save button is lit. That's weird. Okay. Huh. We'll keep going. So let's look at. Yeah, let's see now. Let's look at this. And now you broke red flower up here. I told you you should have stuck with you on desktop. Can I tell you? Um, it's because you took the Steve out and put. Oh yes, right, exactly. I did it before. Yeah, so look, click on up here. Yep, change from a pure oh, Steve okay. to a pure Paul. Thank you. Now, do you need that second part of the name in there? Can you just use a pair? Or no, you can just use a pair. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, you can, but then you'll overwrite it. Well, then it will conflict with your real a pure macro. Oh, okay. So. Put something else in there to differentiate it. Okay. Oh, and look, it says Paul's the best. Of course it does. Okay. So, Paul, if you were writing a hypertext about bands, mm -hmm. you might want to list, like, at one place, here's a list of all my bands. And you might want to have a peer band and have the photo and the title and the date. Right. And then you might want to have another tipper all together that's about genres. Okay. And so you only want to have the genres up here. So instead of having a peer Paul, you can have a peer genre. And when you click the band, you say, oh, here's the genre. Okay. So that's a way of, do you see how that, yeah. that thinking, it's sort of like, it's a structured way of thinking and writing. And for in your case, you're writing, you're basically creating an interface to a database. Mm -hmm. um, which, but I will, but the... Um, which I already started. What's that? I already started. Yeah. Throw in some bands. Yeah. So you've got stuff in there. Um, do you want to stop sharing your screen and Kira share your screen and then Paul in the meantime would you bring up your band project? Oh, where's that the one that we're saving? This one. Is that the current one? Yes. Save that. I was gonna say what it Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um so go to Tidley Spot. Where is that? A, a, a new a new window. www.tiddlyspot.com. Okay, or dot org, whatever. Tiddlyspot.com. Um, get started now. Chooses your site ID. Um, let's call it um, Design Ready. What's the date today? Three sixteen. Design Ready um, dash demo dash. March 16th or something, whatever you want to call it. All right, that's a terrible, that's terrible. What's terrible? 316? The same okay. date. 2016 Oh, come on. Yeah. Why do I like dates that way? Because you're weird. Okay. Because <laughs> they're Why? Like, totally interpretable. They're sortable. Okay. They'll never be like, you know, oh, three. At the very least, it has to be 0316. Two digit months, two digit days. Um, password, design right. Firm password, design right. Great wiki. Grab the name of the wiki. Click on that so you open it. Grab the name Design Right Demo 2016 and 316. Not the Tiddly Spot, just the name of the wiki. Right. Yep, copy that. Go to your Tiddly Wiki, the one that we were just playing with. Um, I believe that's it. Click on Control Panel. Which one's that? Uh, this one? The Gear of the Sun. And do Saving. And wiki name, paste, and password, type, and um, I think hit the save button. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're doing this in Chrome or Firefox? Firefox. Ooh, it doesn't work in Firefox. Go to Chrome. 
<laughs> Is that why I couldn't do it? Yep. <laughs> I've never gotten it to work in Firefox. <clears throat> Sorry. You're killing me. Yeah, open to open oh, the I gotta do this one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't work in Firefox. It's, it's just I did not. Starting a safe wiki. Safe wiki. It works. Okay, now click on Back to your Firefox, to your to the spot, grab the URL, the whole URL, open it in a new window. No, it shouldn't matter. Worked. And now you can just save it. Oh, you have to hit the control panel and put your password in again because it's a new version. And save it, and now we'll save it. Um, so that's a kind of a I like Tiddly Spot. I think I didn't. It, it's I, don't know. I find it a little easier to use the Dropbox these days. Mm -hmm. But just um, so the whole transclusion idea is about <coughs> referencing text that's in other places. Um, curly braces lead to transclusion. And then the one piece that I think we can now do is that transition through a macro. Okay, so go to your 911A. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We might not have got 911A. In all our confusion, we might have lost it. So just go to 911, that's fine. I think he called it plane crash day. No, there was some. Like it's that. fine, it doesn't matter. It, it, really, 911 is fine. And let's edit this. And um, yeah, so let's go down to the suspicion. Okay. Um, and let's say that we want that, but the rest of the paragraph we want to appear. Okay, so grab the whole rest of the paragraph. Um, do the incision tool. And title of your tiddler is um, response. And we want to tag it and let's replace the excise tax with macro call. And the macro name is appear dash call, I think. And perform an excision. Mm, yeah. That is cool. That is cool. So you can pass it. So not only can you you can pass it through, and the, and this becomes a style, right? So you can change the CSS for that if you want to, and then this that becomes a a, a style. Yeah, you can have that however you want. Um, so that's a. It says at the top of the pre-release, don't use this for anything important. But this class isn't really important, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> you know, I can't help but use it. That's like when I saw that tool and you said demo, it said that incision button was critical. So it's like easier. It's more than it easier. I think it, it allows us to see this this action of transclusion in a way that's as clear as we can see tag. Transclusion was always kind of funny. So um wow, I'm done. Wow. All right, how much time do we have left? Two I'm minutes. Here for something. We have no time left. Two minutes. That is like perfect timing. Okay. Thank you for driving. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Um, Anytime. What I'm hoping that you, we can stop this. Yeah.